spongy and they both look delicious we are going to use these bowls for mixing we have two of them Let's see we have the mixing cups we're going to use cardamom for dry ingredients cardamom salt baking powder wheat flour um sugar for wet ingredients we're going to use cooking oil eggs and milk so we can just start the process we will need four eggs To the mixed eggs, we are now going to mix the sugar. We are going to add one cup of vegetable oil. We now mix the dry ingredients. We need one and three quarter cup of flour. So this is a cup. So this is a cup. I'm just going to use it uh, and assess three quarter. I don't want to get everything dirty. Yeah, I guess that's three quarter. So we have that. For the baking powder, we are only using one tablespoon. Then we also add one tablespoon of uh, cardamom. I love cardamom or you can use cinnamon. You can alternate with cinnamon. Cinnamon you can use as much as you want or the cardamom. Then we are going to add a pinch of salt. Just a pinch. So we are going to mix the dry ingredients until they are evenly mixed. So on the final process, we have three just uh, three items we have the wet ingredients dry and the milk the milk we're going to use about uh, a cup so and we mix we might end up using less though so the other thing i had forgotten is vanilla essence so i'm just going to add i don't measure i just add so we're going to add gradually so we are going to put a portion of the wet dry ingredients sorry and a portion of milk and then mix we are going to do the same for the remaining portion I'll only use say three quarter portion of the milk and this is butter milk not fresh milk my pressure cooker has an option of cake and today I want to try I've just been seeing there is the option there but I have not tried it so it's about time to do it so we're going to add our butter there we already have the um, the pot is already inside so i'll just add the butter but to be on the safe side i'll not add the whole butter so that if anything goes wrong i don't do this whole work for nothing 
least I'll have some cake. So this is how my butter looks like inside the pressure cooker. It's a bit big. It looks It looks like it's too little in the cooker, but we'll have to try it. So step number one, cover. It has always been a ceremony for me to cover this cooker. Yes, but we always manage. So there we are. Then we take the option of cake. It just gives 40 minutes, which is ideal for baking. So, and we are ready to bake. So we give it 40 minutes and then we'll come and see the outcome. We have our butter here. So we are going to mix it on this one and it looks dirty because i've not used it for a while so we'll start it to, we'll start by cleaning so i can't find my my whatever um i can't find my parchment paper so i'll just make do with the container So I've put in some vegetable oil. For this recipe, if you are allergic to butter or margarine, this is perfect for you. So we are going to add our butter on this one. So we have our butter in place and you're just going to ensure we remove all the bubbles and for this cake we're going to add um, chia seeds here we'll just spread a little yeah there you are the oven is preheating and we're going to bake at 150 degrees for 40 minutes. So our oven is already hot. Yeah. And we're going to add our cake. And wait. It's making that pressure cooker sound. I don't know whether we are safe. Or our cake is going to be something else. So we have 14 minutes to go. Finally, it's one minute to our cake being ready. Let's see how it turns out. There we have it, guys. I don't know whether... I can be able to open immediately or yeah actually for the cake it's possible let me tell you mine why is it not brown seems like it's cooked but why is it not brown at the top let's remove and see so let's check our cake. I don't know whether it will come out. <laughs> I feel like laughing. Surprisingly, it's not stuck, but I don't know why it's not coming out. Let's try again. So there is our cake. I need mean, to know why it's not brown at the top. But it looks like it's brown. And it's spongy. Let's cut and see. It's fully cooked. 
why it's not brown at the top hmm it's yummy but i will not understand why it's not brown at the top Mama, if you have ever tried cooking using a pressure cooker please comment down below and help our sister let us now see how the oven one came out so these two can you even tell the difference actually for me the difference is this one was not brown at the top and this one is otherwise they are both spongy and they both look delicious this one is too hot i'm even scared yeah so basically i think any can do but uh, i'm still skeptical about this one not turning brown but i can always cook again look at this cake it's super spongy and delicious of course the butter is key but also i've discovered it's always good to also try out using the maker pressure cooker that's that's it guys thank you so much for watching see you on the next one bye